Hello everybody, what's up? This is Sala and today we are going to learn how to get floating point numbers from the text box in a Windows Form application. And once we have gone through getting the floating point numbers from the text box, we will develop this percentage calculator application. It's not so difficult, just relax and enjoy the show. So floating point numbers are numbers with decimal section like 5.5, 10.5, and 11.0. So if a number has a decimal, it's a floating point number. Got it? In order to work with these numbers in programming, like uh, in C sharp, we create variables of the same type and assign values to them. Let me show you some examples. Go inside the code. Now, if I want to store a floating point number in a variable, so I will first uh, create a variable of the same type. For example, double ratio ratio here is the name of my variable and the double specifies that the type of the ratio is floating point and now using the assignment operator we can assign a floating point value to it right so once you have created a variable and initialize it uh, with a value you can uh, you can use it anyway in the program so i can use it in uh, different scenarios like uh, I can multiply by 200. So that is a way of creating floating point variables and assigning values to them in the code. Now, coming back to the Windows form. Windows form is an external data source. And like other external data sources, Windows form also works with a string type. And that means when you try to get data from the Windows form, you will get a string representation or equivalent of that data. Let's try to understand it with the help of an example. Let's say I provide a floating point number 5.5 to the text box. So 5.5 is a numeric value. But when I try to get that numeric value in the code to store it in the variable, I won't get the numeric version. What I will get is the string equivalent of that value. And string equivalent of numeric value simply means your value is inside the double quotes. This is how strings are coded in programming, right? Now, in the code, let's say I create a variable uh, to store the data from the text box. Now, to that variable, I'm not allowed to assign a value uh, coming from the text box directly uh, like this. You see, our program is complaining and the error message can be read. It says our program cannot implicitly convert type string to double, right? So we are trying to assign a string type to the double type variable. So what do we do in this case? We have an option of using the parse method to convert the string representation to the numeric value. So now I will call the parse method uh, to the text box like this the parse method is called with double type because we are expecting a floating point number from the text box now you see our program is not complaining so if you enter the 5.5 in the text box it is converted back to its numeric value and then assigned uh, to this uh, variable now we can print this variable out in the debug uh, to check the result. Now provide a floating point number. And here you see, right? So we are getting a number uh, in the PRAM. So that is the way we code uh, to get the floating point numbers uh, in the program. All you need to do is just convert the value back to its numeric version with the help of parse method, right? Let's now move ahead and develop this percentage calculator and try to put everything together. In this application, we are going to calculate the percentage of any number and we will show our result here and the name of this text box is tbx result and our first text box name is tbx pro and the second text box name is tbx total right 
so let's go uh, inside the code and first thing that we are going to do here is uh, to get uh, values uh, from the text boxes right so we need variables total the value is coming from tbx total take another variable let's call it four the value is coming from tbx pro and now we can calculate the percentage by using the percentage formula and we'll store the result in another variable and in the final step we will send the result back to the form and we have uh, another text box for that we have our result in result variable and to that variable we need to call a twisting method to convert uh, the result back uh, to the string so our percentage calculator is coded let's now run and test this application so uh, what is a 10 percent of thousand here you have the result what is the one uh, point five person and here you have the result right so friends that was all about getting the floating point numbers from the text boxes i hope uh, this explanation is going to help you out i will see you around and thanks for watching